Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's your number one fat agent coming to you today with another one of these intriguing FIFA 18 World Cup mode experiments. Well, sort of. With Metzi barely scraping his ass out of the group stages and also Spain kind of struggling in the group stages as well, it got me to thinking, what would it be like if instead of Messi choosing to play for his, you know, native or birthland of Argentina, what if he had opted and decided to play for Spain? Yes, this was a real thing that apparently happened. Since Messi moved from Argentina over to Spain to attend the La Masea Academy over at Barcelona at age 13, he's actually a dual citizen of both Argentina and Spain. And the Spanish coach at the time, I think it was Del Bosque, uh, actually asked him to switch over to Spain. Unfortunately for Spain, at age 18, he made his debut for Argentina, and the rest is history. But what if we could be like Doctor Strange and see the alternative history of what it would be like if Lionel Messi went ahead and chose Spain? How would Spain look like at the 2018 World Cup, with Lionel Messi either leading the line or playing out on the wing with Diego Costa up front? Would it guarantee them the World Cup? And if you are intrigued by this question, go ahead, take your nipple, smush it in the like button right now, and let's go ahead. Let us begin. All right, so obviously this is the default Messi right here. He plays for Barcelona, and unfortunately, and you know, FIFA's gonna make this a little bit difficult. I cannot change his nation. This Messi is going to stay Messi, but what I can do is I can recreate Messi. So this is what I have done. I have recreated Messi. Obviously, he is an imposter. He's he, you know. I don't want to take too much time to recreate his face, so just imagine that it is Messi. But everything else is the same. He plays for Barcelona, he's the same height, he's the same weight, he's the same age. I've gone ahead and replicated all of the same stats that he has according to SoFIFA.com. They're exactly the same, down to the T. So he's going to be super agile, he's going to be great at finishing, he's going to be exactly the same at Lionel Messi. But as you can see right here, the actual Lionel Messi is 94 rating. And this Lionel Messi starts out at an 89. The reasoning behind this, and I'm guessing the only reason that this Lionel Messi is so much higher, your ratings can actually go up because of your international ranking, which Lionel Messi is like a five star, so you get like a point for every single star, essentially. And then also, uh, I can't edit composure. Default Lionel Messi's is 97 composure, one of the best in the game. And then every creative player is default 50, so a little bit disappointing. But in every other aspect, this is a messy clone. And what I have done is I've gone ahead and I've simmed all the way to the 2018 World Cup and I have taken over as manager for España. As you can see, this is default career mode, so the group stages and the group opponents are not gonna be, you know, exactly correct. You can see that already because Ireland is in this World Cup. But unfortunately, you can't change the country of origin for players because that would really mess things up, especially for the World Cup mode. So this is the best that we're gonna get. But as you can see right here, Lionel Messi is going to be leading the line for Spain. And you might have also noticed that he has dropped from an 89 all the way down to an 87, and I'm thinking that's because of his age. If you guys don't know, age plays a huge factor, especially in career mode. And if you're over the age of 30, you rapidly degrade, even for the grace. I'm pretty sure Lionel Messi is no longer 94, neither is Cristiano Ronaldo during this World Cup. But still, as you can see, the stats are still pretty spicy. And you can even see here, fake Messi won player of the month. So you know he won that over default Messi, by the way. And you can even see right here that they played striker Messi over default Lionel Messi. And the cloned Messi had 25 goals and 7 assists, while the default Messi actually only had 3 goals and 8 assists. And if we go even further, the clone Messi won the golden boot in La Liga by almost 10 goals over Ronaldo. So this Messi is no joke. So let's begin it up. We're going to sim through the entirety of the World Cup and let's see how far Lionel Messi can go ahead and carry Spain in the 2018 World Cup. Let's begin right here. Spain versus Saudi Arabia. And <laughs> instantly Messi has scored the second minute of the World Cup of debut clone Spanish Messi. And he's already on the board. It's looking all right. It's already 3-0. I'm just going to sim the rest of it. It's a done deal right here. Five, Messi goes ahead and gets himself a brace on his Spanish World Cup debut. It's looking very strong for him. All right, second match of the World Cup is up against Egypt. Let's see how Lionel Messi can do. Let's see if he improves upon his brace in the first match. Now, we... Oh, my God, Messi misses a pen in the first... How did you get a pen so quickly? 
But anyway, let's see if that goes ahead and backs and bites him in the booty. Uh, Spain are in a very easy group. It's Saudi Arabia, it's Egypt, and it is uh, Ireland. So it's, it's not the greatest group. So we should have no troubles here. 70th minute, it's a cagey one. Okay, we might just scrape by right here. Yeah, it's just going to be Isco. So 1-0 versus Mosala and Egypt, and we're moving on. All right, the last match of the group stages, we are all but through. As long as we don't super, super cock it up right here. Nothing so far. After a pretty convincing win in our first match, we have not been great since. Silva does eventually get on the board in the 30th minute. We're now into halftime now. And Lionel Messi finally back on the board. That's three for him during this tournament. Can we get one more? Come on, Messi. Ah, uh, Isco goes ahead and makes it three. And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Isco Silva and Lino Messi. Unfortunately, I don't know what FIFA was thinking, but we have one day's rest and then we're going up against Cameroon. And as you can see right here, if we look at the top scores, Lionel Messi of Argentina is tied with Spanish Messi. All right, Lionel Messi, not at full stamina, is going up against the likes of Cameroon over here. We definitely still have the stronger side. We've rotated a couple players in. As you can see, Spilicueta is in, Vasquez is in, Asensio is in right now. Uh, we're resting a lot of players on the bench. Still no, no, we're into extra. Oh, all right, Lionel Messi finally coming through. Is it going to be another nail biter? Is it going to be another one niller? 80th minute. And that is it, boys. 1-0 Lionel Messi is the difference. He really is doing gangbusters for Spain. And let's take a look at the knockout stages of the World Cup. As you can see, we have one of the easiest World Cup paths ever. After admittedly inching past Cameroon with 1-0, we are now going to go up against South Africa, who defeated England 2-1. And as you can see, the other teams advancing, though, it's not going to get much easier, because if we do defeat South Africa, we will be going up against the winner of either uh, Germany or Italy. And then on the other side, we do see that Argentinian Lionel Messi is still alive. They're going up against Belgium. All right, round of eight versus South Africa. Can we advance? Can we advance into the corners? Thiago already picking up a yellow card in the fifth minute. That is not too spicy, but hopefully he can hold on. Spilicueta picking it up and still nothing. Spain finally find the breakthrough through David Silva, who's back into the starting lineup. As you can see, I'm working with a couple of players in here. I've kept Asensio and Spilicueta in here. Isco goes ahead and doubles the lead, and it's looking pretty comfortable as we are going to go into the 80th minute. Now the 90th, it's going to be a 2-0, and we move on. Let's take a look at the tournament table right here. France have defeated Brazil 2-0 to advance. Belgium have slayed Argentina 4-1. So the other Lionel Messi is done and dusted. And we are going to be facing Italy, who defeated Germany 2-1. As you can see in the top scores list, it's Italy's Immobile who sits on top by himself with five goals in the race for the Golden Boot, while Spanish Messi is tied for Roberto Firmino with four. And uh, Argentinian Messi has three in fifth place. This is for a birth to get Spain back to the World Cup final up against Italy. A familiar foe. Of course, Italy did not make it into this year's World Cup. In fact, we faced a lot of... We face a lot of people, but Lionel Messi goes ahead, gets on the board right there, but Verratti goes ahead and returns the favor. It's 1-1. It's Piliqueta goes ahead and puts one through in the 42nd minute. This one is one for the history books right here. 70th minute. Asensio makes it 3-1, and Italy looked done and dusted. Verdi goes ahead and misses a pen, and that is it. 3-1. Lionel Messi of Spain should go ahead and tie a Mobley because he is now eliminated. Oh my, oh my, oh my. It's going to be Spain versus Belgium who inch past uh, France winning 5-4 on pens. This is it, boys. The 2018 World Cup final, Spain versus Belgium. Can Spanish Messi go ahead and carry Spain to their second World Cup? Let's go. 18th minute already passed. Nothing's happened so far. Dendonka picking up an early yellow card, but we're almost at halftime. Still score. Messi goes ahead and scores one, but Hazard pulls one back. It's 1 1 as we go past the halfway mark. Now, 16th minute. Who's going to go ahead and find the winner out of this one? 70th minute. It's anyone's match. 80th minute. Are we going to go to extra time? Is it going to be consecutive World Cup finals into the extra time? Who is going to find the winner? Alonso. And then Hazard pulled one back as well. We're gonna go to pens! 
Are you kidding me? What a final! And Belgium win! Oh my god! Two goals from Eden Hazard. Lionel Messi does go ahead and win Golden Boot. That's going to put him all alone with six in the tournament, but falling ever so short of capturing their second World Cup. As you can see right here, Spanish Messi goes ahead and wins the Golden Boot with six goals, and um, all the way down in seventh place is OG Messi with three. Uh, top assist man of this World Cup was Nabil Fakir. Uh, don't see oh Messi actually got 14th with two assists and then I believe the clean sheet leader was David De Gea with five and Thibaut Courtois with three but there you guys go even with the combined might of this godly Spanish side and Lionel Messi in the twilight of his career still couldn't put Spain past just the uber talented Belgian side but what a run what a run but just eerily similar to what he actually did with Argentina at the last World Cup. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below, are there any other players with like similar histories that we could go ahead and be doing this type of experiment that you would like to go ahead and see? Or we could just do hypotheticals. What if Ronaldo played for England and such and such? Just leave it all in the comments down below. And also hit me up on the IGs, boys. If you ain't sick of all this thickness already, get a little bit of more thickens over there. But anyway, that is it from me. If you want to go ahead and check out more oddball content, go ahead and click over here. Jigs and this is where I red card the entirety of the team and it broke World Cup mode. It's ridiculous. You don't want to go ahead and miss that one. And go ahead and click down here where me and my girlfriend go ahead and predict the World Cup. And in all honesty, she was way better than I was. <laughs> but you can see it for yourself. Anyway, that is it for me. Be modest. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Until next time, boys, stay thick.